We are continuing to track what is now Hurricane Henri as it continues to move further to the north, parallel to the east coast, moving quickly towards our area. A quick look at that tropical satellite. You can see that system quickly starting to pick up some pace, moving a bit faster up to the north. As of right now, moving at about 17 miles per hour, that max wind speed up to 75. Earlier this morning, we were still dealing with tropical storm Henri. Now it's in that category one hurricane uh, status as it continues to move closer to our area. So what are we seeing as far as the potential track for this system? It's supposed to continue pushing to the north by tomorrow morning. It'll be sitting just off the coast. That's when we start to see some of the effects of this system, particularly some chances for some rain. The the heftier wind gusts, they'll start to move in later on this evening. By tomorrow afternoon into the evening, expected to move on shore. As far as the actual landing point for this system, anywhere from about Western Long Island back out towards Block Island and parts of uh, Rhode Island as well. So we're keeping a very close eye on this system. We have a number of hurricane warnings stretching from our area back out to the west. Tropical storm warnings back out towards Cape Cod and further inland. We're also still seeing that potential for some storm surge. A stor storm surge warning for the entire coastal region. And then we are also seeing that potential for some flood watches uh, for later on for the duration of this storm. This is new. We were having those tropical storm watches and we were seeing that storm surge warning or storm surge watch for yesterday but the aerial flood advisory that is new as of this morning because we're seeing more potential for some heavy uh, rain falling throughout the duration of this storm so for the rest of today still partly cloudy overnight tonight we start to see that wind speed pick up chance for a couple of scattered showers Sunday and into Sunday night that's when we see the bulk of the impacts for our area by Monday We'll see conditions start to improve, but still a chance for some lingering rain. What, as far as rain totals are con uh, concerned, we're looking at about one to four inches for Rhode Island, three to seven for Connecticut, but that could change if that storm does take a more eastern path. Wind speeds of 40 to 75 miles per hour and that storm surge of three to five feet possible, particularly during high tide. We'll continue to keep you guys updated on air and online. You can head over to WPRI.com for more information.